Hello everybody, we are here at Formula Drift, Salt Lake City. God, it took me a second to even remember what state I'm in and what event is next, but Salt Lake City. Ernest got here early, so did Jace. Been working on our car that's over there. We're set up, We've got the beautiful Utah scenery behind us, and uh, got the pit set up, and now I think we're gonna just park it and uh, start trying to figure out dinner and stuff like that it's a long event this weekend where it's tuesday night and um we got practice tomorrow i think practice and qualifying thursday nothing friday and then comp on saturday so extra day or two depending on the event that we got going on here but uh if you're around the utah area come by hang out um come by register to win a cam we'll be giving one away this weekend from comp cams and uh yeah Follow along, it's gonna be a good time. Just in case anybody around the area wants to know where Formula Drift is, just look for the smoke signals. It looks like the forest, or the valley in this case, is on fire. It's not. So we have here the Utah Motorsports Campus. That's the Rallycross track. This is kind of the upper tier where our pit is. We got prospect practice going on. That is the final turn of what you see on the live stream. Got somebody drop a tire there. It's a fast track, over 100 mile an hour entry. Um, very consistent, fast track. So it's not like, say, Road Atlanta, where you enter at 100 miles an hour, but then you slow back down to like 35 at the top of the hill. This is like 65, 70 plus the entire way through. So really cool, really fast. Gonna change the what used to be the second inner clip to a outer zone, so it's gonna be fun. About to go do our driver's meeting, get ready for practice. Well, that's our oil pump gear. Things are going well. Have not made a lap. It's 10, things have devolved. We're stripping the new motor to fix the old motor. New oil pump. <laughs> no practice. The positive is that it was leaking and because of the leaking, we didn't grenade the motor. So there's that. It's now 11 p.m. Things are going well. We've robbed the new motor of the oil pump and drive gear and windage tray. <laughs> Jake is uh, practicing a familiar motion. And Ernie's installing the new oil pump and drive gear and then we'll be putting all of this back together it's alive Apparently, just in time for the generator to run out of gas. And it's done, we think. It's what, 2 a.m.? Like it's time to shower. Sleep. Sleep. Be back tomorrow. Hopefully, just put gas and tires on it. Just throw Kendas at it. And not die like this anymore. Okay, we're all set up for practice. It is now Thursday afternoon. We got the car all sorted last night. It seemed good driving over to the pits. It's like a mile and a half drive, like a road course. Um, sprint over to the pits. Um, feeling a little better, a little better headspace now. I was pretty frustrated yesterday about, you know, the missing of practice. And we're gonna get a lot less laps than we need or hope for, but 
um, gotta stay positive and make the most of the laps that we are gonna get. So hopefully six or seven here um, of our available 12 and uh, yeah, go learn fast and make some quick adjustments. update just finished up practice my Corvette's missing some stuff because we went hard on the wall I got lost in the smoke chasing after Kearney totally my fault I'm fine I'm not gonna be sore um, I probably hit it going 45 or 50 or something like that just backed it in tore a lot of body work up been working trying to fix it and now it's time for qualifying felt really good about my last couple laps so wish us luck Rick. Uh, the, the D-cell going into outside zone two should be pretty small and quick and then back on throttle at the beginning of the zone. And um, it's really the lack of correction, the lack of mistakes, and the high level of completion of all the zones and clips on the course. You know, we joke uh, earlier about, uh, it's sort of like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, you, you, you get one score for one trick. And if you do two in a row without a mistake, three in a row, four in a row, you get mm. multipliers. Like so that. as you complete the course at a high level, you get those multipliers and you'll get X Factor. Here we go, Taylor Hole, big angle there, takes out that outside zone, gets, oh, he's using all the course, but not in the prime way. Oh, Taylor Hall goes off course. Comp cams, Kenda tires, Wild Willies got wild, uh, wild hole there. So uh, that will be an incomplete there for Taylor Hall. So we have a few incompletes, by the way. It does bear repeating. Mike Power, Diego Higa, Kenshiro Gushi, Taylor Hall. So in that instance, you need to put down a score. Otherwise, number one qualifier will get by runs or yeah. so on and so forth. Yeah, and you can. It almost looks like the car was lacking side button. He, he threw the transition yeah. in, the kept sliding, and then same thing here through two. He tried to, you know, keep the run going, and the car just was not biting in to give him that confidence to keep throwing angle and throwing more at it. And when it slides out like that, there's there's really nothing you can do. He tries to get back on throttle to get the car to, to come around, and that's about it. Okay, first qualifying lap done. We adjusted the um, tensioner on our belt and uh, somehow it came loose after like right at initiation and I lost power steering and tried to make the lap but just can't transition with no power steering so I think we got it fixed um I don't know just this whole weekend's just put me in a really bad headspace and now I gotta go try and put down a lap to get in the show so we'll see what happens Taylor Hall, uh, we did get word that he was fighting with power steering. Yeah, thank you. Last one, uh, having some issues with it. Um, spotter and wife, Tamara Hall, coming mm -hmm. over, giving us the, the rundown, letting us know. All right. Taylor's biggest fan. Of course. Yeah. Missing a bit of the... Yeah, so, all like right, so let's see uh, how this comp cams. Kenda tires, Wild Willies, Corvettes. See if he got that power steering back. I know he's uh, been having some gremlins. Looks like, boom, good angle there. Seems a lot more poised. He's got some metal block power. Bring him into that second outside zone. Now into the third. Okay, looking a lot more comfortable here, Jake. Man, 
right, right on that course. Oh, oh, the oh, there we go. So he fights it. Again, that angle, you couldn't see it. Looked like he almost got into the dirt, into the gravel, but uh, fights back. That, that could have been a weekend ender right there. Yes. I mean, it, a little bit more into the gravel, if it would have caught, would have caught some side bite, that would have been a problem. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's great to see that Taylor is able to get everything collected back together and is able to do it. I, I like that way he loads the car up yep. before initiation and slings it around through inside clip one, out to in, or outside zone one, and then transitions into outside zone two. Holds onto the car, not a ton of corrections. He is using left foot brake there a fair bit to hold the car back. It is noticeable. You do see the smoke coming off the front tire. Backs the car into the last outside zone and just holds it. But right there, you see that wavering as he just tries to keep the car in drift, keeping that score on the board. But, yeah, that, that could have been disastrous really, really quick. Definitely a bit of a nail-biter. That, that could have been a weekend ender right there. But... Uh, Taylor Hall keeping cool, calm, and collected, and able to finish the run out. Easily the most American livery we got out there. <laughs> <laughs> you can see into the car. I love seeing that, where, where you see what the driver's doing, yep. the, the hand, like the, what the hands are That's doing. That's really telling of of their comfortability yeah. with the car, with the with the vehicle. The okay. Kid. Yeah. Seventy six Taylor Hall. So uh, he will be in the show. Plot thickens, kids. Plot thickens. We got some incompletes. Well, as I said before, we were in the bottom eight. Um, obviously not a place you ever want to be in Formula Drift competition. That means you stand a chance at going home. There are 33 cars. One had to go home. We ended up qualifying 30 seconds. So um, I hate it for my buddy Ola that sent him home. Um, it's a tough aspect of this sport man it's just brutal but we just haven't executed this weekend the bottom line um and it starts with me um I made that huge mistake in practice and backed it in the wall and just unacceptable um you know i'm i can be harsh and critical at times of um when i feel the judging isn't perfect or the scores aren't what they should be that certainly was not the case today um just didn't get it done um ended up qualifying last after you know being the not so great eight um just not much to say not much to say our prize for that is to uh battle james dean tomorrow so or saturday that's the one bright spot in all this. I haven't gotten to drive much with James, so I'm actually very excited to go and battle him. I've really loved watching him drive over the years, and I'm looking forward to being able to take our shot at it. So we'll see you on a video recapping Saturday when we're done, but thanks for um, continuing to watch these. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps our channel, and I will, update everybody after Saturday.